Oh god, Daniel Carlson looks like a creep. Yeah, it's weird. Ah. Uh, is that Lucas Till on meth? After years of loyal service. Is that Bill Burr? Oh, Tyler! Intercepted! That's Darius Leonard! Of the Colts, Colts <laughs> and Dan Hey, and welcome to Sports Done Right. This week, we are voting on the 2023 NFL Pro Bowl. And by Pro Bowl, I mean... Well, we're just naming an all-star team because they've dismantled the Pro Bowl. Good. Good. They were playing two-hand touch out there. I mean, just let them play regular football. They're not going to want to. It's a shame. The Pro Bowl is no more. It is a relic of the past, but they are still naming all-star teams. So we are picking Pro Bowl rosters. It's really just... An honor in name only at this point. I mean, at least it still goes on their uh, football. Yep. It's still something to hang your hat on. So let's get right into that. All right. So starting off, six QBs. Well, let's get the obvious out of the way. Mahomes and Allen, of course. So what, do we get, we get six quarterbacks? Six quarterbacks. Tell, they don't do it by conference anymore, which I think is stupid, but whatever. So you just pick the six best quarterbacks? Yep. I, I liked it when it was three from the AFC, three from the NFC, you know, the way you know, all-star selection should be, but whatever. All right. So we've got Mahomes and Allen, obviously. Go ahead and get Burrow. Bur well... We gotta do Tua. Yeah, Tua. We gotta do Tua. Hurts. Hurts is having himself a year. And you probably wanna get your boy Kirk, right? Pro Bowl year. Mm. Uh, he's having one of the best years of his career. He is, but we've got two we've got two spots left. We just did Mahomes. Dude, we, look at Geno Smith's rating. We just did Mahomes, Allen, Hurts, and Tua. You know, the four MVP front runners. Wait, scroll down. Lamar's only got that much. Lamar's been running, but not as much as Fields. Lamar slowed down. Lamar had such a hot start to the season. Don't you have to put Gino in there? That's the question. We've only got two more spots. Gino, and he's earned it, right? I would say Gino Smith has earned it. Look at his no. numbers compared to everyone. Else. I mean, he's had the highest. He's had the highest uh, completion percentage out of everyone in the NFL all year long. Me personally, they don't have they don't have the completion percentage that up here, but he has led the league in completion percentage. That leaves us with one QB. There's Burrow. There's I would Cousins. personally go Burrow. There's Trevor. Trevor's having a good year. Not a Pro Bowl year though. We don't have to scroll this far down. No one, no one down here is going to get Pro Bowl. <laughs> Baker Mayfield is eligible. He just got benched for Sam Darnold. Yeah, I won't. He got benched for Sam Darnold. I think they got the wrong New England quarterback in here. Where's, where's, uh, where's Zappy Hour? Yeah, Lee Jimmy Pickett is having a bad year. Y'all got the wrong New England quarterback. I will go Burrow. You would go Burrow over Cousins? I would go Burrow over Cousins. Cousins would be, like, right outside my uh, yeah. selection. So we've got Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Geno Smith, Jalen Hurts, and Tua Tagovailoa. we got the four MVP front runners. Well, excluding Michael for Parsons. Quarterbacks. For quarterbacks. Michael Parsons ought to be in the running. But, yeah. Next position, 
Running back. This is going to be hard. Because there's Henry, Jacobs, Barkley, CMC, Joe. How many do we get six? We got Eckler, Cook, Pollard, ETN, Mixon. Pierce is all the way down here for some reason. Because he hasn't played as many games. Well, he also had a stinker of a game last time. He only had eight yards in his last game. That hurts. There's Kamara. There's Well, first of all, go up. You got to put Eckler in. Do we got to? Dude, he... Uh, I think you got to do Derrick Henry. You got to do Derrick Henry. You got to do Josh Jacobs. You got to do Saquon. The first three. But then, like, let's think about this. Eckler, Eckler's been killing it in the receiving and rushing. Pierce, game. CMC, Chubb. We can't leave Chubb out. Mm. You're going to leave Chubb out? No. All right, Chubb, two left. Etienne, Pierce, Eckler, uh, Cook, Pollard, Camp Walker. Uh, if you would have just turned it on a little sooner. I feel like Austin Eckler has been killing it in the rushing and receiving Good. game. Zeke has 522 yards. Pollard has 944 yards. Three more touchdowns. Why is Zeke the starting running back? Watch the podcast. Can anyone answer this for me? Money. That's why. But Joe Mixon. And there's Joe Mixon. I feel like Aaron Joe Jones. Mixon's... Aaron Jones is having a good year. CMC. Has been revitalized. I feel like Joe Mixon, though, put up most of those numbers in the game. He had, well, he had five touchdowns in one game. So. I feel like we can't leave Pierce out. I feel like one bad game should not affect him. Because if he had had a normal game, he would have been above, he would have been above, right here where Eckler is. We've only got two spots left for running back. This is hard. I don't see why we can't put Eckler in. You want to go Eckler Pierce? If we go Eckler Pierce, then that's no CMC, no Cook, no Pollard, no ETN. Go ahead and click Eckler. All right, we're going Eckler Pierce. Good to see Jeff Wilson up here. You want Pierce? You got Pierce over uh, McCaffrey? It's, it's hard. I would go McCaffrey over him personally. All right, we'll go McCaffrey. We got Henry, Jacobs, Barkley, McCaffrey, Chubb, Eckler. I wish we could just click Pierce for a second. Uh, how do we... Ah, I can't believe leaving Pierce out just feels wrong. Next position. Receiver. Oh, God. How are we supposed to pick six? Now we can look. Never touch my mouse again. I have it. But Tyree, Stefan. The top three. Waddle. Hold on a sec. There's Waddle. Gary Terry. Adams. A.J. Brown. Ah, and you want to say Devontae Adams fell off. Scroll up. He's leading the league in touchdowns. It's, Adams is so good. We're calling this a down year. And fourth in yards, bro. It's just because of the team's We're struggles. calling this a down year. But Alave. Christian Kirk's up Kirk. here. It's nice. Kirk's, uh, Kirk's not getting a vote here. <laughs> no, sorry, buddy. Can't do it. But it's good to see you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing out for good old Duval. I think Brown's been having himself a year. Debo. Debo has also got a lot of rushing numbers. Gabe Davis is so hitter. Gabe Davis will go off for 100 yards in one game. Has Jamar Chase been hurt? Yeah, he's injured. Okay. Jamar Chase is injured. 
Gabe Davis will go off for like 90 yards in a game, and then he'll only have three catches in the next four games. And then he'll have a 90-yard game. Let's scroll back. DK Metcalf down here is surprising. If I were Gino, I'd just be, I would be force-feeding DK. Well, he looks like he's throwing it to Lockett more. Oh, he's only got six more catches. Lockett's got better speed. A.J. Brown has had a really good year. A.J. Brown can't get left out. We got two spots left. Olave, dude. I, I would, I would, I don't want to leave Olave out. Olave's had an excellent year. I know, but I'd hate I don't want to leave Debo out. I would hate to leave Waddle out though, because he's been, he was in top three in yards throughout the whole year, basically until this last week. Hill's just been going off. I feel like we got. It. I feel like you gotta go Adams Debo. Adams Debo? He's just such a weapon. If they were focused on throwing the ball to him as much as they are focused on handing the ball off to him, he'd be up here with Waddle. So we're gonna leave Waddle out? Yeah, I'm not the one that said we can only have six receivers. Make it eight. They should definitely do more for receivers. Make it eight receivers. Because if we had four more votes, I would go Adams, Waddle, Alave, Debo. Yeah, perfect. Everyone's happy. Uh, Adams has got to be the next pick. Go ahead. But it's Waddle or Debo. Well, I let you keep Pierce out, so I guess you can keep Waddle out there. You can go Debo. Again, like... Like I said, if they were focused on throwing the ball to Debo as much as they're focused on handing up, handing him the ball on reverses, then his numbers would be up here with Waddle. I mean, he's running the ball like 20 times, and he's only 10 catches behind Waddle. But it, it does pain me to leave Waddle out because he is having a very good year. But that's the thing. Run, receive, it is stacked. Re the receiving, this is the best receiving? This is the best time for receivers. In NFL history, we have the most talent at that position right now in the league. You know, for, for a long time, if you were to ask me who's the best receiver in the NFL, I don't know, probably Larry. For a while, uh, Antonio Brown. Julio and Antonio was always a debate. Julio, Antonio, and Larry. For like 15 years, that it was Larry, Julio, and Antonio. Now, you ask me who's the best receiver in the league. Yeah, let hold on a minute. I think it's the guy in the purple right there. But I, I would probably I would settle on Jay Jets over there, Justin Jefferson. But I would have to think about it. I'd have to think. Oh, you got Tyreek, you got JJ, you got Stefan. Adams is still up there. Like there's a debate to be had. Next up, fullback. I'm glad that they actually still do fullbacks. Let's see. Why are they giving us? Six votes. What? They're giving us six votes for fullback. I didn't even know there were six fullbacks in the NFL. Fullback, we're going to make this real quick. Juice, juice check. The one true fullback of the NFL. The best fullback in the NFL. Bar none. Ingold. Or that. They had, I don't know why they gave us six fullbacks. It's ridiculous. I think they just did that for every position. I don't think they realized. Well, every position. Well, that's going to be weird when we get to center and we're having to pick six centers. Tight ends. Kelsey. Hawk. Taysom. Kittle. What are you doing? Andrews. All right, it was the last tight end. I feel like Dawson Knox has had a really good year. Mm. But are you going to dispute any of these? No, it's just the fact that you just went Hawking Hill over Andrews. I go, Ertz has four touchdowns. He does have four touchdowns. He's out for the year, though. Matt's got five. 
Zach Ertz is unfortunately out for the year. Sad news. Um, for solid year. Oh, that's because Justin Fields finally had found out how to get the ball out. Oh, I get it. If I run around a little longer, I'll have time to throw Ooh, the ball. No, I would go. I'll think it's just sexy. I'm surprised that Trey McBride is all over. They've drafted this guy in the second round. They don't use him. I don't know. You can really pick the final spot if you carry them. Prior moves, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this might be the only chance we have to get a Jaguar. <laughs> but Ingram? <laughs> He does have more yards, catches than Dawson Knox, who is going to be my next pick. So, put in Ingram. So here are the offensive linemen. We've got our tackles, our guards, our centers. They really didn't need to do the six guys for every position thing because that's way too many centers, but. Whatever. It is what it is. Alright. Defense. Defensive end. Oh, I love me some pass rushers. If I were building a team from scratch, I would go heavy on pass rushers. Look at Ngakwe in the year was so. We never should have let him go, but Bosa, Crosby, Garrett, Burns, Vaughn, Hendrickson with the last one, or what? Uh, I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to go Hutch. And for a rookie, he's having a good year. I know. Uh, Cameron Jordan. I mean, I'd take Hutch over Armstrong, Wise, Montez Sweat. I'm going Hutch. Next position, DT. The big boys. Chris Jones, obviously. Jonathan Allen. Aaron Donald, I don't care what the numbers say. He's still arguably the best player in the NFL. Is that Taven Bryan? That annoys me in so many ways. You see a Jaguar anywhere? Oh, there's a Jaguar. No stats. Okay. Dude, Buckner's out of here. I go Buckner. Williams, obviously. I want to overlook Hargrave. Hargrave. That leaves us one more. No, that's all of them. Is it? Oh. One, two, three, four, okay. five, six. So we got Chris Jones, Keenan Williams, Devon Hargrave, Jonathan Allen, DeForest Buckner, and the GOAT Aaron Donald. GOAT of this generation. Inside linebacker. Boy, Who is that right there? Nick Bowen. Bo I told you he was having a good year. I knew he was having a good year. I didn't disagree. Alton, obviously. Roquan Smith is in there. Got some interesting names here. Miles Jack, I miss him. I thought Bobby Wagner would be doing Mario better. Mario Davis at six and a half sacks. Leighton Vander Esch is a beast. Devin Lloyd. Got off to a hot start, but he's hit the rookie wall. Okay, look, if you have six tackles on the season, you don't qualify for the Pro Bowl. He's not going to get votes anyways, except for family and Peter. I'm going to be honest. 
if I was like his brother, I'd still probably be like, I can't really pick you over Fred Warner. You got three picks left. Dude, Demario Davis is six and a half percent. Chris Demario Davis. Right under one. Oh, yeah. He's having himself a year. Devin White's having a good year. Edmonds, I know, is just so good. Anzalone. Didn't he just have two interceptions? Yo, Anzalone. Hold up. One game. Yeah, but I always think of Anzalone as a top inside linebacker. Oh, we got one pick left. Might have to rescind that. <laughs> Who do you give those last two picks to? I mean, personally, I would go runners. Queens got four sacks everywhere. Patrick Queen. I don't know, dude. This position is so weird because it's just like I'm looking at every everyone's like the same. Leighton Vanderad is a monster. Ooh, Isaiah Simmons. I would go Isaiah Simmons. Oh yeah. All right, that's all for the inside linebackers. Outside linebackers. Matthew Judon. Bro, linebackers is kind of weak in the NFL. Judon, Parsons, Ty Smith is balling out this year. Sedarius Smith. Cedric High Smith, Duke University. Sedarius High or uh, Alex High Smith. No, I, I was know, looking you, at you know you know. Is that a Keen Peel sketch? Sketch. This guy on TikTok. Leo Mack only has 18 tackles, but he's got seven sacks. Right, two picks. Like, I think I'd go Mack and Reddick. But then that would leave out Chubb. That would leave out these guys. You. I expect better from you. Hey, look at me. Flat, 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 flat. Get you. Get it together, Josh Allen. Uh, you can go. You can go with these last two picks. It doesn't matter. Does Bradley Chubb not play for the Dolphins yet? I think he played one game for him. Hunter's got twenty six. I'm going Reddick and Mac. All right. Now let's get to the corners. This is oh. interesting. This will be interesting. I wish they showed you how much I, the yards they've allowed. Look, look who's number one. Hmm? Look who's number one. Okay, because you got the most. Don't you forget it. No, let's go ahead and find Sauce. Where's Sauce? There he is. And let's get Woolen in there. And let's get. Oh. Where's Sertan? Oh, find Sertan. Good question. Where is Sir? I I found a Bronco, but it's not Sir Tan. I found another Bronco. There he is. No interceptions. Then click him. Wait, AJ Terrell doesn't have any interceptions. People don't throw to him. Oh my bad. But Sir Tan, we know how good he is. Bro, Sir Tan has been like arguably the best corner in the league. Yeah. This turncoat. Still gotta go on, bro. Fine. Writer. I can't deny he's still an elite talent. Ramsey's a pain in my ass, but he's still an elite talent. I cannot deny it. Go ahead, Nick. No, gotta click. Click there. Jerry. But then, like now, hold up, Humphrey, Peterson, Clay, Campbell. There's only one vote left. Who gets it? Humphrey, Peterson, Slade, Campbell. 
Agreed. Uh, I think Clay is the better corner. It would feel wrong to leave one of the Eagles. I would go Slay. Yeah. I think he's better than Bradbury. I think Diggs can piss off. I think I'm free and Peterson <laughs> deserve it, but they piss off. Yeah, piss off. He's overrated. Trayvon Diggs is overrated. It sucks. I feel like Campbell could get a vote here, but moving on. Strong it's safety. It's a loaded position. It is a loaded position. Strong safety. Oh, there's Darwin. Get him in there. Gardner Johnson. Gardner Johnson. Buddha. High ankle sprain, projected to miss three games, doesn't miss a single I game. I forgot about Grant Delpit. There's a reason for that. Rayshon? Dude, you know he leads the league in, like, pit balls. Rayshon Jenkins has been playing very good. I'm surprised... That Poyer's all the way down here. Poyer's got four. Four interception. That's... I think you get it. I think you give it to him. Four interceptions. I'm surprised he had uh, such a low amount of tackles, though. I like Bell. I like Bogey. Vaughn Bell? Vaughn Bell. Tier has been playing very good, but there's only one vote left. And uh, I would, Brisker, I don't watch a lot of the Bears, but those are intriguing numbers. Wilson's the number one. We haven't even like talked about him. Three sacks, a forced fumble, and interception, and leads him in tackles. I mean, I feel like yeah. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Yeah. And now free safety. Andre Cisco. Cisco without question. Eddie Jackson's having a good year. Minka Fitzpatrick. Holland. Oh yes, Holland. We got two spots left. Take a look at everybody. One tackles. Good. Winsfield has three. The win. Justin Simmons only has twelve tackles. Devin Devin McCourty is old as dirt and still. He's the oldest safety in the NFL. Matthew? Not a Pro Bowl without the Honey Badger. I think I give the last spot to McCourty. McCourty? There you get you some, old man. We are not voting for six kickers. Click on Tucker. They oh, get man. two. Tucker, and who's the other one? Patterson's been okay, but we all know that McPherson is the second best kicker in the NFL. Oh, God, Daniel Carlson looks like a creep. Yeah, it's weird. Ah, uh, is that Lucas Till on meth? Long snapper. Again, you were not picking six long snappers. How do you even pick a long snapper? Carson Tinker. 
And, you know, Billy loves his special team, so I'm sure Cardona is a good long snapper. Hunter. Oh, look. Look who has the most punts inside the 20. Johnny, Johnny Hecker, who the Rams unceremoniously discarded. After years of loyal service. Is that Bill Burr? Uh, Cameron Johnson looks so much like Bill Burr. It's crazy. I go Hecker. You know what? T Titans punter uh, Stonehouse is really good. I go Hecker and Stonehouse. Return specialist. All right, now we're talking. Agnew has an end. Like, great amount. I mean, we, we get six votes, though, man. Go ahead. No, we get two votes. We're not voting for six of these guys. Do they not have a touchdown stat on her? Well, that's messed up. Serpent and Agnew. All right, next. Special teamer. Uh, you mean gunners? Is this basically a category for gunners? This is gunners. You want a reliable pick and pick Slater. Matthew Slater, he's been doing it for so long. He's one of the best gunners in the NFL. And uh, the other one, I do not frankly care. I would go Winger just because he's a jack. No. Houston Carson can hit. Our Pro Bowl selections. We didn't really touch on Oluwakan. I would just like to say Oluwakan has had such a good year for the Jaguars. He's, he's impressed me more than probably anyone that we picked up. Log in. <laughs> At least they saw the picks. Log in. We'll log in off camera. What 